Okay, hi guys, uh, this is Matt here, and today's video, um, sorry about my voice, it's kind of scratchy today, um, but I got another request from, uh, the Low Moments again, so that's good, and, um, he says, tutorials please, that's what I'm going to be doing, basics, and tell me, and please tell me how to put the words on the video while it's, it is still playing, thank you. Sure. Let's open up Vegas Pro 8. Just wait a while. It has to create everything. Yeah, and the, today I found out that it lost one subscriber, so that's not the greatest. Okay. So, I have also gotten out... I have... A cam studio help from one of the uh, users with the cam studio being blurry and it was I think it's because the frame rate was down I don't know but I solved it and then I have an unboxing video for a couple of items and I've got my perfect world mage so I have to render these two out and this one's already done so well I think so no this one's it because it's in high quality high detail high definition so those are the three on top of the one that i'm making now so it might be uh, a little while before i get it out but anyways um so you're gonna want to have some footage and i just go okay so i have my just gonna scale it down make it smaller So I'll show you right here, like that. Okay, so I've got my footage there. Now he wanted to figure, find out how to get the text on top of, um, on top of the thing while it's still going. Now you have to put the text on top of the, uh, on top of the footage itself, and then I'll show you how to position it and stuff like that. So you want to go into your media generators tab, head over to text right here. And you have a couple of different texts that you can do solid background, transparent, cool, hot. I just use a default because then like, you can customize it. So you're going to want to want to see this. Can you see, I don't know if you can see that. You probably can, but it's on top. And you want to just let go. So there you have it. And now you can see. I'll just go... Okay, make it smaller. Okay, so now I'm just um, change the font. Um, and I want to go to. I just change the color. Okay, so there you go. The long moments. Now I've changed the color. If you want to go to now to get it to placement, I'm just gonna show you. So there you go, because that's on top of each other. As long as it's stretched far enough on the timeline, it's gonna go. So watch, it'll disappear right when it hits the end. See, because it wasn't stretched out to match how long the clip was. Now you can change the placement to make it wherever you want. So if you have like, um, I know a couple of what they're um website down there and they use Sony Vegas or another editing tool so now it's on the bottom I'll play it back for you and it's gonna stay there now other things that you want to do um so let's say you want to do like uh I want it starts out right here right and this is what it comes in handy with keyframing now you want to have it so you can't see it then you take a keyframe right here takes a little bit of getting used to but you can drag it to let's say four seconds and you're gonna want to put it right here so sorry about that. so look from zero to four seconds it's coming in and then from there I can make it go somewhere else so I'll show you that now here it goes so the lull moments 
So there you have it. Um, effects, text effects, uh, properties, obviously. Um, the text color, the background, which you don't want to really mess with. And I just messed it up. There we go. Don't want to mess with the background color. Because then you'll just screw up your footage. Um, tracking. Um, don't know. Okay, so the tracking, you can just mess around with it, so. Okay, so maybe I can do, then uh, you can add as many keyframes as you want. So, let's say I have right here, so that's four seconds in. Right there. Oh, sorry guys. Just go ahead. Okay, so I got four seconds almost. Now this is where it's going to start. And then I want, from there on, I'm going to change the tracking to make it smaller. So it's going to go down all the way. So watch. Going to hit the four second mark. Boom. Boom. There you go. And then you can do a fade. So... And then you can zoom in by clicking your this one the zoom tool make it a little bit bigger and then at the end you might want to make it like that zoom out a little bit so here it comes bang and as soon as it hits that it goes into it and that's gonna fade off so there you have it there is how to get um Oh yeah, on effects. Okay. Let's just put right here. It's got you can draw an outline. Then maybe we'll want to put that to black. Now it hits the four second mark, it's going to turn black. And then it'll disappear. So there you have it. Now, Sony Vegas is all about um, trying it out. You just get a, do a cheap uh, dub, as I like to call them, uh, on Camp Studio, or whatever, fraps that be. Um, and do a quick thing, scale it down, and then make a just a, br a brief... Um, text just do a lot of text play around yeah it's all about playing around and getting a feel for sony vegas um because i know when i first started it took a while to get used to but um i know like some other ones can be uh, some other screen they're not editors um can be quite difficult to understand so i thank you for your video request the low moments um yeah, so I'm obviously going to be making more uh, Sony Vegas tutorials because um, he asked me to. So, uh, yeah, thank you for um, commenting on the video. And, yeah, I'll see you next video. Comment, rate, subscribe.